In this video we are going to talk about monthly dividend stocks. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Investors can obtain recurring passive income by purchasing monthly dividend stocks. This regularity is more in line with the schedule of many regular invoices, allowing an investor to use dividend income to offset expenses. Monthly dividend stocks are therefore suitable for retirees and other investors who rely on their investments for income. Here's a closer look at the top monthly high-yield dividend stocks for 2022, with monthly dividend payments in mind. Because of this, these stocks are ideal for generating passive income. EPR Properties Another read is EPR Properties. It focuses on owning experiential real estates like movie theaters, eat and play venues, ski resorts, and gaming facilities. The venue operators signed triple net leases with it to secure these sites. The pandemic of COVID-19 had a major impact on experiential real estate. Many of these facilities were forced to close their doors or operate at a reduced capacity for a period of time. As a result of their inability to pay rent, EPR Properties was obliged to cease its monthly dividend in 2020. However, with vaccines becoming more widely available, more people are regaining confidence in their ability to enjoy experiences outside the home. As a result, EPR's tenants are catching up on their rent payments. In July 2021, this REIT was able to restart paying a monthly dividend. ERP Properties' current yield is attractive, but as the company increases its portfolio, it may be able to raise it in the future. It came into 2022 with a lot of cash and a good bank sheet, allowing it to buy additional experiential real estate. Given the threat of online streaming to movie theaters, EPR intends to focus on purchasing more attraction-related properties that consumers can only experience outside the home. This could help to ensure the dividend's long-term viability. Agree Realty Agree Realty is a REIT that invests in real estate, REIT. Because they earn recurrent rental income, these companies are frequently good monthly dividend stocks. This REIT owns freestanding retail properties with triple net leases, which means tenants are responsible for building insurance, upkeep, and taxes. It focuses on holding properties that are leased to critical shops including groceries, home improvement, dollar stores, and drug stores, which are less susceptible to e-commerce or recession disruption. Agree Realty's dividend is supported by this strategy, which generates consistent rental income. In January 2021, Agree Realty shifted from a quarterly to a monthly dividend payment schedule. Overall, it has a strong dividend track record. Over the last decade, this REIT's dividend has climbed at a compound annual rate of 5.5%. As Agree Realty expands its portfolio, the upward trend should continue. In 2021, the retail REIT purchased a total of $1.4 billion in properties, boosting its rental income and dividend-paying potential. Agree Realty has a healthy financial sheet, which will help it continue to expand. As a result, it expects to buy another $1.1 billion to $1.3 billion worth of properties in 2022 to sustain its dividend increase. Gladstone Commercial Corporation Gladstone Commercial is a diversified real estate investment trust REIT. It primarily owns net leased office and industrial properties in the United States, each accounting for 48% of the company's portfolio, as well as some retail and medical office buildings. Because secondary markets offer larger investment yields, this REIT focuses on them as well. Gladstone is able to earn relatively regular income as a result of this strategy, allowing it to pay a consistent dividend. This REIT has paid more than 200 consecutive monthly dividends that have been equal to or more than the previous months. It has a large yield and slow growth. Gladstone Commercial has continuously grown its portfolio by acquiring more office and industrial properties throughout the years. It entered 2022 with enough money and strong financials, allowing it to continue paying out monthly dividends and expanding its portfolio. LTC Properties LTC Properties is a healthcare real estate investment trust REIT. It typically invests in senior housing and skilled nursing facilities that are backed by triple net leases, mortgage loans, and other cash-generating structures. 
This technique ensures that the REIT's monthly dividend is supported by a constant stream of income. The pandemic had a significant impact on the senior home sector, including LTC Properties tenants. Several people struggled to pay their rent, prompting several to declare bankruptcy. This REIT, on the other hand, was able to weather the storm and replace some of the lost revenue with fresh investments thanks to its financial soundness. It has been able to retain its monthly dividend as a result of this. LTC Properties' rental income should rise in 2022 as market circumstances improve as the pandemic fades. When you consider the REIT's previous investments, its high-yielding monthly dividend appears to be sustainable. Pembina Pipeline Pembina Pipeline is a pipeline corporation based in Canada. Pipelines, processing units, storage terminals, and export facilities are all run by the company. Other energy firms are generally leased the capacity to use the company's assets under long-term, fixed-rate contracts. Pembina is able to provide consistent cash flow because to these partnerships. Pembina has a strong dividend history, with payouts consistently increasing over time. As it completes additional energy infrastructure expansion projects, it should be able to increase its dividend in the future. Pembina has a large backlog of secured projects and several more in the development pipeline that will help it grow its dividend in the future. Pembina is investing in lower carbon projects in addition to continuing to support the movement of fossil fuels. Along with its wind energy holdings, it's working on a carbon dioxide transportation and sequestration system with another Canadian energy infrastructure firm. It's also looking into hydrogen possibilities. Continued dividend growth should be aided by these moves toward cleaner options in the coming years. Realty Income Realty Income is the obvious leader when it comes to monthly dividend stocks. The monthly dividend company is the company's name. As of early 2022, it had paid over 600 consecutive monthly dividends. Furthermore, since its initial public offering, IPO, in 1994, Realty Income has boosted its dividend more than 100 times, at a compound annual rate of 4.5%. This REIT has increased its dividend for more than 25 years, making it a dividend aristocrat. Realty Income should be able to provide investors with a monthly income stream that grows consistently in the future. In 2021, it bought neighboring REIT for right, NYSE, VER. In addition, it purchased $6 billion worth of properties in smaller transactions. This buying spree will help the company increase its cash flow per share by more than 9% in 2022. Realty income has a lot of room to develop in the future. The global market opportunity for single-tenant net lease real estate, which it targets, is estimated to be $12 trillion. Meanwhile, even after completing last year's acquisitions, it maintains a robust balance sheet, allowing it to continue buying more properties. As a result, Realty Income should be able to continue extending its portfolio in 2022 in order to fund dividend increases. SL Green Another REIT, SL Green, is the largest office landlord in New York City. While the city's office sector has been affected by the pandemic, SL Green has fared surprisingly well. This is due in large part to the company's focus on owning some of the city's highest quality office assets. As the city's office market rebounds and office tenants focus on leasing excellent space for their staff, this REIT benefits. This office REIT surpassed its leasing goal in 2021 and anticipates signing even more leases in 2022. The demand indicates that businesses plan to return to their New York operations in the future. Meanwhile, institutional investors such as pension funds continue to be interested in office buildings because they offer predictable revenue. As a result, SL Green has been able to sell a number of properties at competitive prices. It put the money toward debt repayment, stock repurchases, fresh development funding, and acquisitions. These considerations have also allowed this REIT to maintain its dividend growth. It became a dividend achiever in 2021 after achieving its 11th consecutive dividend rise. With market circumstances improving and new projects yielding results, SL Green should be able to maintain its dividend growth in the future. Stag Industrial Another REIT that pays a monthly dividend is Stag Industrial. It specializes in warehouses and light industrial facilities as well as industrial real estate. 
This type of property is in high demand. To overcome supply chain concerns, the pandemic encouraged e-commerce adoption and increased manufacturing in the United States. As a result, occupancy levels have remained high while rental rates have risen, allowing Stag to produce continually increasing rental income. Over time, Stag has been able to increase its dividend. The REIT's capacity to constantly extend its portfolio has been a major growth driver. Since its IPO a decade ago, Stag has added more than 400 properties to its portfolio, bringing the total number of buildings in its portfolio to more than 500. The continuous expansion of this industrial REIT is expected to continue. Each year, it plans to spend $1 billion to $1.2 billion on property purchases. When you combine that with rising rental income from current properties, Stag should be able to keep raising its monthly dividend. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.